everybody, it's me Sandy coming at you with a new nail art video. This week it's just a simple tone on tone purple look with a twist. Want to know what the twist is? Then you need to stay tuned. So this week I had a couple events where I didn't want my nails to be the star of the show. But I did still want them to look nice and I did still want a bit of my personality in there. So of course I chose purple. And it went with my purple hair. So, like I normally do, I started off with my favorite base coat, which is Anchor by Zoya. After letting that completely dry, I then put on two coats of No Peaking by China Glaze. As always, I did do my right hand off camera. After letting both coats completely dry, I then followed up with a fast drying top coat. I let this top coat completely dry before bringing in the twist. I finally ordered and got in very quick time my Twinkle T Menchie the Cat nail vinyls. This is my first time playing with nail vinyls, so go easy on me. So according to everything I've read, the instructions on the package from Twinkle T and everything I've seen on YouTube, it's very important to make sure that your top coat is completely dry before placing your nail vinyls on your nails. So for anyone who doesn't know, Menchi is the cat of a Canadian YouTuber nail artist named Simply Nail Logical, who is based out of Ontario, and she did this in collaboration with Twinkle T. I think she has three sets of nail vinyls. I wanted the cat ears really badly. I love cats, as everybody knows, and I figured for my first nail vinyls, these were probably a good pick. So as this was my first time using nail vinyls, I do look a little awkward. I'm just trying to get the angle right with the tweezers, make sure it actually shows up in the picture, and again, very sorry about the light balance being way off. I did want to make sure I had the placement where I wanted it and that the nail vinyls were down well enough in the sides so that when I did put on the second polish that there wasn't any bleed through, or at least as little bleed through as I could get. So my second color is Sexy Divide by Essie and once I had finished painting that in the spot where I wanted it on my nail I made sure to pull off the nail vinyl while my polish was still wet. This ensured that the um, polish didn't pull up where I wanted it to stay down. If you wait until the vinyls are dry it will pull up parts of the design you wanted to stay on your nail. After finishing my thumb, I went on to the rest of the nails on both my hands. I did do my right hand off camera, making sure that once I had laid down the darker purple shimmer, I pulled the kitty ear nail vinyls up right away to ensure that I had crisp lines. Once my nails were completely dry, I then put on a coat of armor top coat from Zoya. I really like how this simple design turned out, and of course the cat ears were a fun twist. Thank you so much for joining me again, and if you like this video, please remember to hit the like button. As well, please remember to subscribe and hit the post notifications so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you, and have a great day.